have come and gone, but I did this video for any kind of sports get together. These are going to be very simple updos for any kind of get together or party that you may be going to for a sports event. You don't want to do a major fancy updo when you're going to something sporting. I didn't really care who won, so I made a shirt with the Seahawks on the front and the Broncos on the back. Yes, those are my drawings, I did those. So you could definitely just wear a fro, put on your bandana, and go. Because a fro is always cute, no matter where you go. But I'm also gonna show you today how to do just some very simple updos. This is like on three or five day old hair. This is what I like to call my together brush, or a hard bristle brush, and you're just brushing the top layer of your hair, being careful not to pull it all the way through the ends. We're gonna be creating what's called my Afro Puff, and it's a lot similar to my pineapple, it's just not as high, and that, if you've watched my pineapple video, that's the same hair tie. So I'm pulling it as high up as I possibly can get it on my head without bringing it forward onto my forehead, and then just sliding this around my hair and pulling my fro through. So then you just fluff it, until you can get it looking round and right. This is what it looks like from far away with your whole outfit. And I love to accessorize my Afro puff, so I'm gonna take a bandana and fold it in half lengthwise and wrap it around the back portion of my hair and bring the tie up to the side corner, kind of um, off-centered of my forehead and tie it into a knot. This kind of gives it a very pin-up look or just kind of like a cute little accessory for your hair. Now, if you don't like these long hanging parts, you can always make this into a bow. So what I do is I flatten it out and I'm going to fold it up underneath. So you flatten it out so you have a nice pretty like bow type of a look and fold it out underneath. This side's a little short so you just tuck it and make it work that way. And you can bobby pin it or it'll, it, more than likely it'll stay just like that. It depends on how firm your bandana is. So this is what it's going to look like from far away with the whole outfit accessorizing. Once again the big thick part is on the back part of your head instead of against your forehead. All right, so so many people have been asking me about twist outs and Marley twists and do I do it on my hair and what does it look like? Um, I don't normally do it on my hair. It's just time consuming and I have a lot of things to do in my life. So we just started at halfway point for you. Half of my hair is Marley twisted up and I'm gonna show you just how I accomplish this on my hair and what it looks like. So with me, I really don't care about the parts too much. I'm just separating them and I want them small enough to where I can manipulate and move my Marley twists around into hairstyles. So you're just gonna need a clip for this to clip things out of the way and a water bottle. You wanna spray each section and make sure that it's nice and wet so that it's pliable and you're able to part it easily, you're able to move it. So if it's not wet enough, just continue spraying. I mean, don't be afraid of the water. And this is what I use to kind of set it. It's called my Kinky Curly spiral spritz spray. It doesn't work for me any other time unless I'm doing some kind of updo. And it does not work if I just spray it directly on, it's too thick. I usually put it in my hand and then move it around, very small amount, and then place it into my hair. Um, and we're, you do this to every section. Then I've made this section smaller from that thick piece that you saw. I separated it into two pieces and then just twist around. I'm giving you a close up here so you can see I'm just wrapping it around and around and around and this is very time consuming this is why I usually don't do this too often but you can literally wear these Marley twists for you know up to a week if they stay fresh and you wrap them right these Marley twists are done on freshly washed and conditioned hair also detangled this is really simple <laughs> so um, I'm gonna force fast forward it here so you guys can see that I'm just twisting it around my finger and that keeps the ends tight and keeps it from coming unraveled in each section of your hair, you're going to want to make sure that you're combing through it. With my hair, as soon as I get out of the shower and that air hits it, it gets tangled, so I have to comb through each section again. <laughs> so yeah, just showing you that you want to comb through it. You don't want to do this on tangled hair. <laughs> In the front, I chose to have my Marley Twist go and lay back. So it really depends on the way that you're holding it in order for it to lay back. If I was holding it towards the front of my face, then those Marley twists are going to hang in my face. Um, because I'm going towards the back, it's going to hang towards the back. And once again, you're just taking the end and you're twisting it around your finger so that it will stay. So for these front ones right here, you see how they're hanging kind of in the face and those ones are going back versus this side that's falling forward, it's because I twisted those ones forward. So on these forward ones, I really want them to kind of hang in my face so I can have a bang. See how that sits in the front? And I can pull these ones forward, but naturally they're going to hang back. 
So for this last one, I want to make sure it's wet. I put the spritz in it. You're going to separate it and you're just twisting it around. This is not fast forwarded. Once you start getting the hang of this, you tend to go pretty quickly. So right here, I'm just going to slow it down so that you can see. It's just wrapping it around itself, around and around. And then just keep going till you get to the end. When you get to the end, oh my gosh. Like, really, how long does your hair? I would love to see your guys' videos to this. Like, once you pull it out, it's amazing how long it really is. Because it doesn't look that long when it's sit sitting in the Marley Twist. Just showing you what it looks like when it's all done. My hair literally feels like 10 pounds lighter when I do this. So literally, these are going to be simple updos with your twists. We're getting a couple videos in one here. You're going to do like a half up, half down, um, and flat twist the front section. I'm not worried about parts, I'm just flat twisting it back, and I'm gonna take the other half on the other side and just pull it back. Where I use my clip is to hold it, and then I worry about fixing the twist on this side. So then I'm gonna flat twist this side and re-clip it in the back. And then that holds perfectly. And you've kind of got an up, half up, half down look with your cute new outfit, you know, Bronco shirt and orange pants. Broncos did horrible, by the way. Anyways, here's the Broncos color type of a bandana. Did I tell you guys I like bandanas? They're simple, they're easy accessories. And I'm just tying it against my head and I'm using that corner piece and pulling it through the knot in the back so that it holds and sits down flat instead of up and all funky. So this is what it looks like from far away. And you can see the Marley twist that I twisted towards the front of my hair act like a bang. So this is another look here. I'm pulling that front one that I specifically twisted towards the front as like a bang. And I'm going to use a regular hair tie and pull all of my hair up into a ponytail. Taking my bandana and folding it into lengthwise like a long piece. This is what I did for the white one as well. Instead of in the triangle, it's in a long piece, going against the back of my head and tying the knot in the front, just like I did with the white one. Now you can leave this down, this piece down, or you can tuck it into your bandana and you've got a very cute bang and your hair is up and it's very sporty and simple. You wanna keep it simple. Or you can turn it around the other direction if you really don't like that, you know, bow type of a look in the front. And you can leave it on your forehead, it makes you look kind of tough. You can pull it back. <laughs> this one is just simply using it as a headband. Or you can scoot it back and then pull some of these forward and give yourself kind of like a forward bang. And then that's simple and sweet and cute. Remember for sports gets together is you want it to keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. You might've put some effort into it, but you want it to look effortless. So this is the same thing that you did with your hair up, um, flattening against the back of your head without putting your hair up and tying it in the front in a knot. But if you don't like how these hang and they're kind of funky, because this is an older bandana, you can fold it under like we did before, and I'm gonna show you, you can just tuck it underneath the part that's already tied. Just tuck it underneath the bandana instead of using bobby pin. Like I said, I love bandanas because you can do so much with them. You can make them look sweet and cute and innocent. See, isn't that adorable? It's so adorable. twist out. So starting from the bottom of your twist and working your way up to the scalp, making sure it doesn't knot, this is what it's going to look like when I take these Marley twists out. So we'll be right back. So I've done most of my hair here. All that's left is the front, so I'm just showing you how I undo the last couple. And you can totally leave it like this, but for me it's not big enough. I like my hair big, so I, you know, kind of picked it out, teased it out a little bit. I'm not brushing it all the way through because I want those twists, the twisted look to stay. So I can part it on the side and wear it that way, or I can pull it back and kind of, you know, just wear it back. You could also part it in the center and wear a center part. I don't like the center part per se because it's just not full enough for me. I like my hair big. So when I do this, I wear it to the side like so. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and at your next sporting event or sports outing you go to that you try some of these amazing updos. Keep it simple, keep it classy, keep it easy, and keep it moving. And just so you know, I made this shirt. I've lived in both states, so I didn't care who won the Super Bowl. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.
Please, if you have not checked out some of my other videos, click right here and it'll take you directly to them. As always, tell a friend. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. For the music that you're hearing in this video and to hear more like it, please check out my amazingly talented friend, Elijah Bland, at www.elijahbland.com. The link will be in the description box below. And please do not forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.